Okay, I'm only trying to find out what really happens, how much goes on. A lot happens, and all the time. Like what? Like just the other day. Two guys came in to move a file cabinet. One accidentally squeezes past me. Like uh, the desk was in the way, which it wasn't. And he does this full body press on me against the wall. While he's saying, uh, hey, Joe, well, watch what you're doing. You're squashing this little girl here. So what did you do? Mm, what did I do? I apologize to him. Okay, Billy. Would you consider this sexual harassment? As this woman, who I know, who works in a camera store, and the guys there use telephoto lenses and binoculars to look at her chest all day. They don't touch her. They don't even say anything. But it still makes her crazy. Well, I think it is. But sometimes there's a fine line. And sometimes there isn't. I once applied for a job right out of school at a law firm. And this man actually said to me, well, my partners and I work very hard all day long, and come evening, we're awfully tired, so it'll be your job to make us feel better. Right. Now, in a situation like that, you're all alone. But if you wanted to blow the whistle on somebody at the trip, say that guy, that guy Paul, the other women would back you up, right? No way. Uh, maybe. They wouldn't? How do you think Heidi Prager got from editorial assistant to reporter? I can tell you it wasn't because of a brilliant mind. Right? <laughs> Some girls use it. Now, uh, yeah. listen, are we just being catty here? <laughs> <laughs> sure, we're being catty. But it also happens to be true. Whisper dirty nothings into a man's ear, honey. He'll follow you anywhere. Well, it's clear from the women I've talked to that over half say they've been sexually harassed on the job in one way or another at one time or another. Hey, I don't have any of those problems. I mean, my boss never nuzzles up to me over my desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't all work for Mrs. Pinshaw and Julie. <laughs>